If you didn't know, Bloxburg has six starter houses when you join the game. And if you're someone new to the game and you don't know how to build, you can buy one of these houses and live in it, fully furnished. And so far, I have renovated the classic home of Roblox here, the cozy cottage, and that is it. So in today's video, I'm gonna be renovating the Bloxington Mansion, which costs a total of $200,000. All right, so before we start, we're actually gonna have to buy the house. And if you wanna buy a starter home, you literally buy a slot for 300 blocks bucks, and then you can choose out of all of the starter houses and for us we are doing the Bloxington Met. $200,000 for this piece of crap. You're joking. Okay and maybe it's good on the inside. I actually have never been inside this Bloxington Mansion surprisingly. I know crazy so buy Bloxington Mansion. Scam. Okay so here we have the Bloxington Mansion from the outside. Oh gosh this is dreadful but you know what? It's got a pool which is kind of nice. I think that's the only starter house in Bloxburg that has a pool. The front yard mm, not much detail. What about the inside? Keep in mind, I've never been inside this house before. I'm kind of excited. Oh. Okay, what do we go? Oh, keep calm and play Roblox. Shut up. Oh. Okay, can we go in here? Where's the lights? I paid two hundred thousand dollars for this house for no lights. This is dreadful. <gasps> oh, it gets worse, guys. How is this two hundred thousand dollars? Is this meant to be the living room? Oh, oh. gosh. <laughs> I guess that's nice. What's in here? This is office, a study. Again, no lights. Like, what's going on here? This is dreadful. This yellow wallpaper. Ugh. Okay, maybe it's uh, better on this side. What's this side? This is the kitchen. Very big, spacious kitchen. Little dining table. Another dining table. A weird, creepy hallway that leads into the garage. Where's my bedroom? This house is pretty big. I'm getting lost. <laughs> Wait, do I have a bedroom? Hello? Okay, what's this room here? Oh, okay. This is my room. I'm assuming. This is huge, but ugly. Also, why is the TV here? Like, and the bed's here, but like, oh, this is gross. What's in here? Okay, this is my ensuite. This isn't bad. It's awful. What about the backyard? I noticed that we've got a backyard. So this is the pool. It's kind of giving Italian villa. I want to renovate it into like an Italian villa. Another thing I realized is where's the bathroom? Do we even have a bathroom in here? The only bathroom we have is inside the ensuite. That is so stupid. See this? This is our only bathroom. What if we have guests over? They can't go in the bathroom unless they go in my bedroom. Ugh. Well, um, with that being toured, it's time to renovate this thing because this is disgusting. I never want to lay eyes on this thing again. Build mode. Hold on. The plot value is $140,000. Where's the other 60K? Did I just get scammed? Oh my gosh, I think Bloxburg just scammed me. Love that. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just knock down everything we don't need. For example, these fences. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of these fences. Also, these trees. Lazy. Now, my only rule with a renovation is that I can delete all the furniture, but I have to keep the layout the same because I notice a lot of like Bloxburg YouTubers when they do a house renovation they like literally knock down the entire house and build a brand new house and I'm like babes that's not a renovation that is a demolishing video now nah, you're probably like Alaska what are you going to keep inside this house you want to know absolutely nothing I'm not keeping anything can I is there a way for me to bulldoze everything except for the walls I can keep the walls okay no that's cheating we need to keep something similar okay see I like this is the entryway I don't know why there's like two dining tables though I have a feeling I might change that into like a second bedroom perhaps. Okay, in the kitchen, we are going to keep the fridge and the oven. That's what we're going to keep. And then in this weird little foyer area, I'm thinking we can keep... You know, we'll keep this statue. No, we won't. We'll keep this statue. And in the living room, we are going to keep the piano, the TV. Imagine walking into someone's house and you see yellow wallpaper. Like, what is this? The back rooms? I don't think so, ma'am. Now, bedroom. I don't really want to keep anything from my bedroom but that is the rules. We shall keep my bed and this painting stand. And lastly, my office, which is like so dark. What was it being so dark, by the way? The only thing we're gonna keep from my office, oh, I don't want it. Mm, we'll keep the chair, that's it. And then the pool, you know what? I think I might keep the layout of the pool. Just kidding, get pranked. No, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> we'll keep these sun chairs, they look nice. We can now start on the new structure of this house. Now, I definitely wanna go with an Italian villa type look. And in most Italian, Italian villas. They'll usually have these arched openings at the door and I just love that kind of style house. I didn't really know what to put at the front here for the roof. 
I think our safest option is just to have like a flat roof and kind of turn this into a balcony of some sort. And most Italian style houses have this uh, red brick going on at the front. See how all the roofs are like kind of similar? And you know what? I actually do like the concrete for the front of the house. I just don't like the color. Like I hate the color, but the material is fine. It's kind of hard to renovate this house considering how ugly it is, but um, we shall persevere. Okay, now the difficult bit, which is trying to make this as uh, presentable as possible. One thing I did like about the original Bloxburg starter mansion was all of the trees at the front and like all of the garden. I had lots of garden. Actually, now that I think about it, no, it didn't actually have that much garden. Not gonna lie, I think it only had like two trees. <laughs> but anyway, one thing I do really want to add is just a bunch of greenery to the house. And I do want to make sure there's heaps of privacy in the front yard. That way no one can break into my house because we don't want that, do we? No. What I love about doing um, Italian style houses is that we can really play around with textures and materials. I also want like the majority of this front yard to just be garden. Another thing we need to change is the material of the grass. I hate this new grass material. No one asked for it, literally. Look at this grass material. It looks like, I don't know, vomit or something. Like Bloxburg, change it back, please. Oh my God, there, a, a bird just like flew into my window and gave me a heart attack. Oh my God. Whew. Now, one thing we're having in our front yard is one of those massive trees with like the swings on them. Oh, and then we can have a little bench under the tree. Oh, and like a random lemon bowl. Yeah. And then what we're going to do with the rest of the house is just play along with these um small hedges. Kind of like we're building a tiny maze in our front yard. Every time I see front yards like this with lots of greenery, I'm just like, how do you take care of all of your plants? That's my only question. What? All right, listen up, y'all. My birthday's July 3rd. If any of you buy me plants for my birthday, I'm just gonna say they're not gonna live long. That is all. Now, one thing we can't forget is a little footpath over here. Oh, maybe a little bird bar for the birds. What else? Oh yeah, we'll have a fountain because we're just, we're fancy. Oh my gosh, one of these things. Oh, that is so cute. See, this house is already looking so much better than what it was before. And I also have a feeling it's gonna be very dark at nighttime here. So we're just gonna go around the garden and add some of these cute, gloomy, lanterns. All right, so I think that's the front yard done. Now, one more thing I'm going to do with the front yard is go around all of the walls and add these plain high arches. All right, y'all ready? In the middle of these arches, rustic columns. And then boom, look at that. Darling, that looks beautiful. Now, we obviously cannot forget the garage and all of the windows. Now, I do kind of like these arch windows. I know we got rid of them, but you know what? I changed my mind. We're going to add them back. Feels like I'm renovating the house from Saltburn right now. If you don't know what Saltburn is, then you know what? Good for you. I don't know what I was getting myself into when I started watching that movie, but it was definitely not that. My advice to you guys is if, uh, if TikTok ever recommends you to watch a movie, don't do it for your own sanity. Okay, hear me out. I don't know why, but if like blue shutters around this house would look mwah, beautiful. See, I feel like that looks nice. And one last thing we're going to do outside is go around some bits of the house and add overgrown wall vines to really give it that like Italian villa feel. Alright, just like that, the outside of this house is all renovated. Oh, so much better. Now we have the inside. Oh, yikes. So I do actually want to knock down this wall, but like I said, I can't knock down walls. But I think I found a loophole. So technically, I can knock down the wall, but who says I can't use arched openings in the middle of this wall, huh? Genius. The reason I'm doing this is just to let in more light in this house. Because the first thing I noticed was like how incredibly dark it was, especially the living room here. Like, I feel like the living room should definitely be opened up way more. Oh, and the dining room as well. Like, what's up with that? Why close off the dining room? I think the only room I'm going to keep closed is the kitchen. Because, like, yeah, okay, I kind of get why the kitchen's closed off. But everything else should definitely be way more open. And the first room I want to work on is, of course, the entryway. Now, where on where do we start with this entryway? <laughs> oh, you know what this wall can be? Like a photo memory wall. Okay, this looks insane. <laughs> keep calm and play Roblox. Keep home and play robots. We get it. This is such a big entryway. So I think I'm going to split it up by adding some chairs in here. So in that case, people actually have somewhere to sit down and change their shoes. Do you guys want to see a magic trick? Already? Right, Before? After. Thank you. Call me a genius. And lastly, a table over here. That way we can have all our keys. And of course, we cannot forget this original statue from the old renovation house. From the original renovation house. Okay, so good news is the entryway is done. So the next room we have 
have is this awkward little corridor. I don't actually think this was a room originally. I actually have no clue. <laughs> I did think of something. I don't know if it's going to work though. I mean, if I want to make this work successfully, I am going to have to redo the roof. But what I want to do is in most like Italian villa style houses, they'll have these terraces inside of the house. So you know what? It's risky. It might not work, but you know what? Let's do it. We're going to have to re-add the roof. So all is normal, except we just don't add a roof on this section here, which kind of is very odd, but I am trying to go with that indoor outdoor type of feel. And I mean, in this case, we can then have arch openings at the back and then we can add doors into the living room and the kitchen. So the house is kind of split up into two, but it looks cool. And now in this case, in the middle of this terrace, we can have a gorgeous little dining table moment. And one thing, however, it's going to be pretty dark out here. So what we're going to do is add some of these colors Full string lights. So then once it turns nighttime, we'll have these like gorgeous little fairy lights lighting up the terrace. All right, moment of truth if we turn this to nighttime. Oh, honey, she looks stunning. Okay, so now that this little outdoor terrace is done, I think the next room I want to work on is the kitchen, which is in here. Now, the kitchen is pretty big. So there is quite honestly a lot of ideas we can do with the kitchen. And I mean, it is an Italian kitchen. I've never met an Italian that's a bad cook. If you're Italian, you're automatically a good cook. I'm sorry, just it comes with the jeans. All my Italian friends, oh, my best cooks I've ever met in my life. I'll be like, hey, I'm hungry. And they'll be like, okay, surprise, here's a five course meal. And I'm like, oh, damn. Okay. All right, I think that's a nice layout for the kitchen. I've used a lot of wood today. So you know what? I'm actually going to break it up by adding some white in the kitchen. So yeah, I don't know if it's just me, but whenever I use too much of a color, I will end up hating it and I'll never use it again. Also, I'm just going to fill up the majority of this kitchen with pans. Also, last video, you all got absolutely livid at me and because I forgot to add a sink so don't worry guys I'll add a sink today to be honest I just want this kitchen to be packed with uh different cooking supplies also one of you guys taught me whoever taught me this I love you and I'll marry you but someone said if you put a transparent cube right and then fill it up the entire space like this you can then add pots on top of your oven like <gasps> look at this no you guys want to see something cool ready fog machine and a pot see it looks like I'm cooking up a storm in this kitchen now we still have quite a bit of space left so I think I'm just gonna have a really obnoxiously big island bench like one of those island benches you look at and you're just like why are you so big that's how big I want it to be and don't worry guys sink can go on the island bench so you can't be mad at me and then our stools can go at the end here is this measured out properly no do I care no all right so that is it for our kitchen now we can move on to the dining room if you will okay so we can extend this cobblestone out here also is it weird that I kind of like the red wallpaper? <laughs> I think we might have like a red feature wall. I don't know why, but I kind of liked it. Now, one thing I do want is a very big dining table. See, look how huge that is. Ugh. And another lemon bowl. I don't know what our obsession with lemons are this video. I think I've added like 15 lemon bowls thus far. I am not even kidding. When I see a lemon bowl, I'm just like, mm, gotta grab it. Now, I want to keep this dining table pretty simple, except one more thing we are going to add in here is a bunch of these dish cabinets. I'm not going to lie, I kind of forgot they existed until like two minutes ago when I saw them in the build category. Mm, you know what would look really nice in here? A few of these arch insets. Okay, yeah, that looks so much better. Which means the next room we have, darling. We technically have uh, this wing, but um, this is going to be pretty simple. I mean, I'm serious. It's going to be so simple. It's a hallway. You guys want to see this renovated hallway? Ready? Before, after. Thank you. Thank you. And then as for the garage, I've already changed all the walls and everything and the garage is pretty simple. You know what? We're going to have a red car. Yeah. Every Italian father drives this car. Do you reckon it's too extra if we have a $4,000 chandelier in our garage? You know what? There's no rules in this house. And like at the back of our garage, we can have kind of a workstation, if you will. Look at that. Toolbox, hammer, and a chainsaw. We are now officially the world's biggest psychopath. All right. So we've got custom wallpaper and then couch in here. Why can't we have a couch? couch in our garage you know there's no rules i'm telling you okay so that is our garage garage done the next room we have is the gorgeous the beautiful the living room we have this pool out here but we can't really see it so i'm going to include some of these arch openings obviously need to make this into a window so then we go in with some transparent cubes and then using some thin square beams we're going to attempt to make this into a window also these cats are driving me insane samira and salem right they were on my couch 
couch behind me and they were all lovey-dovey they're like hugging each other they're being so cute and affectionate and then i look over one minute and samira has her like claws around sam's neck and then they're like trying to kill each other and guys calm down like i have two psychopaths in my house i'm telling you okay i don't know how we're gonna make this an italian style living room but my mind is telling me to do green wallpaper back here and then we can keep the piano from the original design as well as the guitar oh and we obviously can't forget the doors this is the ensuite but i'm actually just gonna make this the public bathroom so anyone can really use it fireplace we shall be doing a custom fireplace i don't know if you guys noticed but i've been doing this one fireplace in particular it's this custom one that i've been making up and i love it i mean let's be honest i'll probably stop using it within a week but for the time that i am using it i think it's very beautiful and it's actually super easy to do except if you have like mobile then um good luck building this on mobile that's all i have to say you know what i need in here a big pot as in a big pot i mean a custom tree see look at that booyah baby you wish your trees in blocksburg look this good you wish i just know there's like proper talented blocksburg builders watching my videos like alaska let's be honest babe you kind of suck at building <laughs> and to that i have to say i agree just a little bit oh you know what we can have by the window here a nice lounge chair every time i think oh i'm a bad builder i just go like watch my first ever building video on youtube now that is bad this, not too bad. But my old videos, oh gosh, we don't talk about that. Okay, for the lighting, I'm just gonna have a few little outdoor wall lamps at the top and then that is it for our living room. And I think the next room I wanna do is my bedroom, which is actually humongous. I don't know why it's so big, but you know what? We can definitely split this up and make this like a massive closet. Now that I think about it, why do I not do the bedroom first? Cause like sometimes I'll leave the bedroom till last and then I just like will not have any motivation to finish it. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you know what I just realized? It wouldn't be a European house without, of course, European pillows. If you don't have big European pillows on your bed, you're missing out on like the best sleep of your life. Let me tell you. Okay, so the bedroom's nearly done. We just need this section here, which I think I want to turn this into a mini painting stand. Oh my God, speaking of painting, guys, <laughs> you know the five minute painting trend where you like switch paintings with a friend with every five minutes? I wanted to do this, right? So I got some canvases, some paint, and so far everything was going good and then my friend was like oh my god no my painting sucks and I'm like I don't care keep going because I wanted to record this for TikTok and then after like not even 20 minutes they paint their entire canvas black and they're like I give up and I'm like what did you do and then we chuck the canvases out so yeah fun trend okay so I think we're gonna have a desk in here before we move on to the wardrobe and you know what instead of having walls here I'm just gonna knock this down so then it looks like that which is way better and then we're just gonna stack a ton of these clothes or all around the wall so then it's like one big juicy walk-in wardrobe and oh do you smell that yeah i smell another four thousand dollar chandelier and then at the end of our closet we'll have a desk where we can do our makeup or you can just pull in me and do your makeup on the floor personally i find it very effective i'm not kidding i sit on the floor in front of my mirror and do my makeup yes i have a makeup desk no i do not use it so then next up we have the bathroom which was originally the ensuite but i'm glad we changed it like the original design of this bathroom was so stupid like why would you have an ensuite that you can only access through your bedroom but you don't have a public bathroom like that does not make sense i'm not gonna lie i kind of feel bad to whoever designed this boxberg mansion because so many people destroy it and like talk bad on it imagine designing this house and then youtubers are like renovating the ugly boxberg starter mansion like i kind of feel bad for them they probably tried so hard on this house and all i have to say to them is try harder <laughs> i'm so mean i'm kidding i love you whoever built this house i love you i wish you health and happiness and new building skills <laughs> okay i'm done i'll stop all right you ready vines at the back here also can we just talk about the importance of fog machines like look at this ready before a fog machine after a fog machine look how cozy that looks and because we're keeping the original furniture from the bathroom these can be our towels and the toilet can go right here and then on this wall we'll have all the sinks and we'll also stack the sink with um toilet paper just in case another pandemic happens we want to come prepared all right, bathroom's done. It's giving rich Italian mother. So in the last room we have is the office. I don't want the office to be too crowded. So you know what I might do to make this look more open? Is add a window that looks directly into the living room and then replace this door with a glass door instead. Oh, I love when people do this with their offices because it looks so much better compared to like if we were to just leave this empty. Okay, so lastly, some paintings on the wall. And then that is it 
for our office, which means the last room we have is of course the backyard. Classic Italian villa backyard moment. And I already have the perfect idea. I'm not gonna make this too big. However, I might extend the pool a little tiny bit because at the edge of this pool, we're going to have water fountains. Oh my gosh, have you guys ever seen the movie Call Me By Your Name? Kind of feels like I'm building the Call Me By Your Name house. And I like the fact that we kept these original chairs from the house because I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of like this setup. The only thing we will be changing from the original design is the color. So this is what it looks like before and this is what it looks like after. And then the last thing we're gonna do is fill this entire hedge with trees, which is very, 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 very expensive. And that is what it ends up looking like. Oh damn, you know what? I don't hate it. It, it kind of looks like grass snowmen, but I love it. All right, so the total of this renovated Bloxburg mansion comes to $355,000. So this is how the outside of the mansion ended up looking. I think we can all agree that um, compared to the original design of this Bloxburg mansion, this is definitely an improvement. I love the fact that we have like a massive garden that we can walk around in. And I mean, we even have a cute little tree swing that we can fall off and break our ankles with. So yeah, when we come in, we have the entryway here. Oh my gosh, this just looks like a completely different house. It gives off such like a different vibe as well. I love this terrace. This was such a good idea because I didn't know what to do here because we had an empty space originally. But I think what I'd done was like pretty good. It leads straight into the backyard, which is like a massive pool area. We go for a little swim. We got trees surrounding us, so no peeping comes. So if we go through the left of <laughs> Excuse me? Did y'all hear my voice just crack? We go through the left wing of the house. We are then greeted with this gorgeous Italian inspired kitchen, which is pretty big. That's why I made the island bench like humongous. But I mean, it's got everything you need and then it leads directly into the dining table. So we've got the garage here. And if you want to come in the house through this way, it leads directly into the left wing, which kind of makes sense. We then have the right wing of the house, which includes the living room, the office, the bathroom, the bedroom, and of course, the closet. I think we can both agree this was like a massive improvement. Like girl, can we just talk about how gorgeous this is? For our office, I kept this pretty minimalistic. We just got like my desk here and of course my photo of Salem and Samira. Speaking of Samira, you guys need to upload more decals of her by the way. Listen, here are some photos. Go crazy. In here we have the bathroom. Now surprisingly, I actually kept the original wallpaper. And then lastly we have my bedroom, which takes about five minutes to actually get into the bed considering how many pillows are on it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me renovating the Bloxburg mansion. I honestly cannot believe that I've never done this before. I actually have quite a few Bloxburg starter houses that I haven't renovated yet. So if you guys would like to see that, make sure to comment it down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.